Chosen ones, here's why spiritual awakening changed everything. Welcome back to another video. A spiritual awakening has the potential to be a life-altering event. However, keep in mind that advancement isn't always a smooth ride. Not only does it require stillness of mind, but also the processing of trauma, the establishment of appropriate boundaries, the acceptance of one's own shortcomings, the adoption of a sense of personal responsibility, and the adoption of healthy habits. One must keep in mind that not everyone is destined to experience a spiritual awakening in this lifetime. The challenges and lessons we will face in this life are written into our soul contracts. Some people might rather keep reliving their past karmic events in order to gain wisdom from them. At the same time, others are busy trying to change their karma for the better or for the worst. It's crucial to realize that we can't have a spiritual awakening until our karmic slate is practically clear if we want to have one. There are some people who aren't cut out for the search for enlightenment, and it's vital to respect that. But if you are here, you are probably either committed to this course of action or seriously contemplating it. Keep in mind that everyone is on their own individual road in their spiritual development. It's something that calls for diligence, reflection, and introspection. The most important thing is to keep your eyes on the prize, keep your feet on the ground, and be willing to keep growing and learning. Applying the strategy can help you triumph over the problems you face along the way and emerge stronger on the other side. Chosen ones, here's why spiritual awakening will change everything. Number one, acknowledging your strengths and tapping into your creative potential. Reach the purest kinds of inspiration by entering the ultimate flow state with the divine. It's natural to wonder if you did something on your own or if something merely inspired you. The term muse is occasionally used to refer to an external source of inspiration due to skepticism about its depth and purity. God is inherently creative, and God desires to express itself through humans. To put it another way, we are vehicles for the highest levels of consciousness to manifest in the material world. You should never forget that you can have faith in your creations. Stop caring about what other people will think of your work and start focusing on getting in tune with the highest attunement of energies by going straight to the source. Approach everything with the mindset of a novice, remaining teachable and open to new ideas. If only you've unlocked the doors that would let it in. Number two, you're experiencing bouts of depression and nervousness. Weakness and worry about one's future are other signs. If you are wandering away from your life's purpose or calling, your spirit will make that truth very plain to you. Perhaps you're feeling down, blue, or unmotivated, and uncreative. I'm not saying this is the only way your feelings could be explained, but it's a good place to start if your soul is ready to awaken, but your ego isn't. However, some people with persistent sadness never get past this point, no matter how much their souls desire an outlet. Become more attuned to and trusting of your own intuitive feelings. Although it may seem hard at first, the subtle energies of the body can be awakened through activities like yoga and meditation. So, what makes you think you're at your best self right now? What makes you excited? Is it essential to give up your current job, part ways with a close friend or potential partner, or move to a different location to realize your dreams? Taking this action may be the hardest thing you've ever done, or it may be as simple as picking up a new hobby or joining a group that shares your interests. Number three, your relationships start changing. There's no denying the life-altering effects of a spiritual awakening, yet not everyone in your world will share your enthusiasm. As you undergo a transformation, you may worry that your loved ones can no longer relate to you. Make your loved ones aware that they don't have to share your enlightenment in order to respect what you're going through. Number four, increased perception and coincidental coincidence. Increased perception is a common side effect of spiritual awakening. Life tends to take over when no one is around to get in the way. You start making decisions based on your gut rather than your rational head. Increased synchronicity usually backs up your gut instincts about what's right, and you start to trust them more and more. This kind of coincidence has happened to me so often that it no longer surprises me. One's life can be lived most easily and joyfully by just surrendering to life. When you're in the zone and being cared for, you may experience synchronicity and a heightened sense of intuition. 
You're also seeing angel numbers and other synchronicities that always blow your mind. If so, that's a great indicator that you're progressing on your spiritual journey. Number five, you come to understand that everything that occurs in your life has some greater purpose. Everything that happens to you is for a reason, usually related to your development and progress. You are not a victim of events, rather, they are all unfolding for your benefit. Your soul has chosen to study the most challenging density of 3D on Earth to learn from the ups and downs, the emotions and anguish of physicality, and most of all, the magic present here. When we come here, we try to put our brilliance out of our minds. Take this as a reminder to constantly treat every situation and person as though they serve a higher purpose. Pretend that a masterful playwright is directing a production starring a whole cast of well-developed characters. And you are the star. Negative, painful, distasteful, excruciating or wrong experiences are always there to help you grow into a better person. Number six, facing your fears and the end of your life. Coming face to face with your own mortality and shadows is a terrible prospect. Fear of death has plagued the human race for eons. People are easier to control than make fantastic consumers when they are miserable. So those in power want us to be afraid. When you stare your fears and mortality in the face, you'll learn to appreciate each day for what it is. No matter what is happening in the world, you'll begin to step into your own power and create your own wonderful reality. Ego death is the term used to describe this phenomenon by Sun. Though it may feel as though some of your preconceived notions have been destroyed, your ego will remain. You need an ego if you want to make it in this world and interact with other people. Abundance, freedom, creativity, and a singular purpose will replace the patterns and beliefs driving your subconscious and contribute to a lack of restriction and inability. The key to overcoming your fear is to look at your darker sides. Therefore, do that. You will experience the physical manifestation of death in various agonizing ways, only to emerge from the experience with the insight that it was all an illusion. Although the physical form is fleeting, the soul endures forever. This is a terrifyingly big step forward on the road to conquering your fears. This is not a complete list by any means, but the items I've included here are ones that I've found to be important in the experiences of many others. Are there any other things that happen to you when you recover? If you have any more suggestions or clarifications, please share them in the comments section below for everyone's benefit. I'm hoping this video was entertaining for you. Have a nice day.